Are you trying to figure out what the best dark chocolate brand is? I've decided that I wanna do a series of videos here on this channel trying to figure out what is that best dark chocolate brand and I've got one here today that I'm gonna share, share with you guys. We're gonna do a little taste test and see what we think about it. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and I buy to put in my body because they're delicious. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So I've been interested in like the health benefits of dark chocolate recently. They've got a lot of polyphenols in it, and uh, they have a little bit of caffeine in it too, which I try not to eat dark chocolate because that is one thing that keeps me awake if I'd eat it too late in the day. So, um, I decided though, I really, really, really like dark chocolate though. So I wanted to try out some different brands and figure out what that best brand is. So today we're gonna to do a little taste test of this guy right here. It's the Endangered Species Strong uh, Velvety Dark Chocolate. This has 88% cacao. Um, and it looks really, it says bold cacao with hints of fruit and spice the ultimate in strong smooth dark chocolate and 10 percent of the net profits to save our wildlife that's why it's called the endangered species brand there um so i started getting getting interested in dark chocolate whenever i read that bulletproof diet book because they were talking about you know how chocolate's good for you and the benefits of it and all that type of stuff so i was like hmm, maybe i could just add a little bit to my diet whenever like one little square a day or something like that Not, nothing huge um and so i I'm interested in what's out there, and this one has, the ingredients are cacao, sugar, and van, oh wait, nope, that's not the ingredient. Ingredients, bittersweet chocolate, which is chocolate liqueur, sugar, soy lectin, and vanilla. So as far as far as a health considerations here, this one may not be like the top, top healthy. In fact, I did just did a video of this book right here called Rich Food, Poor Food, and chocolate is one of the things that they talk about in this book, and I would be curious to taste out uh, to test out some of their uh, chocolates that they recommend in here um, because they look really uh, interesting and I know that they would be good. It's the Lucian Sugar-Free 83% Dark Chocolate Bar, the Coco Polo 70% Dark Chocolate Bar, and then that's a hazelnut bar. Um, so let's get into this one today and see what we got here. Let's see, uh, three grams of sugar, by the way, if you care about, oh man, look at how rich that thing looks. Just opening that up. Why don't they put, like, I feel like they should put that on the front. Like whenever you open it, it's kind of like opening an envelope. You know, whenever you open an envelope and you pull a letter out and you like, oh, it's like the front of the letter and you see it and it's like all nice, you know, they should do the same thing with the chocolate here. Why don't they do that to where the pretty side is faced up like that. So it's like you're opening a package and it's like, oh wow, this looks really nice. And you know, maybe some branding or something in there. Instead you get a flat back. That didn't make any sense to me. All right, so it does come with the foil wrapper. I guess that's foil. This uh, inner layer right there, if you wanna utilize that for, I don't know why, I, I don't know if that's like a preserve, to help preserve it or what. Nice break on it, here you go. Got a nice crisp snap broke straight right on the edge right there, so that's awesome. As I'm touching it, my hands are a little hot. I'm getting a little bit of residue on the finger there. I don't know if y'all can see that. There you go, a little bit of residue um, of the chocolate melting in my fingers. The uh, It's got a little emblem in there. It looks like a piece of bamboo. Since this is an endangered species thing, I think they're going after the kind of panda thing right there. Let's uh, let's taste this thing and see what it tastes. Thumbs up if you guys are ready for me to taste this. Did y'all smash that thumbs up button yet? I really appreciate it when you guys do that. All right, let's see what we have. Mm-hmm, mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. So it's not super duper sugary, which is nice. But surprisingly, it's not very bitter either. It's like a nice balance of sugar to, to bitterness. I really, really like that actually. Cause sometimes whenever you get chocolate and it's like way too bitter, it just doesn't taste that good and you kind of get, it hits you like right here. And then if it's too sweet, it's usually because they put too much sugar in it and it's not that healthy for you. But this stuff is delicious. If you guys want to check this out, I'll link it up down in the description below. Y'all can go read other people's reviews about it if people write reviews about food on Amazon. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But um, for 88% cacao, that is amazing. I think at the highest I've seen is 93. I need to get a 93% to see uh, what that tastes like. If you guys 
like any particular brand of chocolate, let me know down in the comments below what that is. And I'm gonna see if I can get my hands on some of that so that we can try out a whole bunch of different chocolates and we'll have an, a big uh, series of videos here on the channel about the best chocolate and we can figure out which one we like the most. If you guys are liking what we're doing here on Dad Reviews, make sure to click that subscribe button. I've tasted some other chocolate stuff before. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll put that right there. You guys go and click that video. And whenever I get that full uh, playlist going of the whole series of chocolate, I'll put that right there. Click those videos. I'll see you on those videos. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out.